Hey Capricorn, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for April 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Capricorn. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Capricorn. What's going on with my Capricorns and 48 hours spirit? What does Capricorn need to know for April 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Capricorn? All right, let's see. Okay, we have Fox Cunning. Fly, disease, and wasp revenge. Overall energy is bat direction. Okay, so someone's clearly, I feel like someone's faking an illness to get back at you. So someone could be claiming that they that you passed on an illness or a disease to them or like an STD or something to them. Someone's claiming that you poisoned them or got them sick. They're trying to blame it on you. I feel like someone's faking it. Whatever it is, they're faking it. For some of you, someone is literally trying to purposefully give you a disease on purpose. They know they have it and they, they're trying to give that to you. But for others of you, someone's faking like they got a disease from you. Let's get into the tarot and see for Capricorn. Next 48 hours for Capricorn. April 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Capricorn. Because I feel like someone wants revenge. Someone wants to get back at you. Either because, I feel like it's because you don't care about them. They wanted you to care more about them than you did. I feel like you may have dropped them like it was no issue. Or you let them go out of your life like it was no issue. You just stopped. You didn't chase them. And this person feels like you just forgot about them, dropped them, used them, or left them alone. Whatever it is, this person feels thrown away by you or tossed away by you. So this person wants revenge. And so they're going to try to lie on you. We have temperance, Sagittarius. So that is a clear sign to stop and not uh, and refrain from engaging because that's what they want. The overall energy being direction, you're trying to decide how to handle this. Should you go off on them or should you leave it alone or should you take legal action? Spirit's telling you first to calm down. The main thing you want to do is not respond to them, especially not publicly or anything like that. Do not attack them. Do not yell at them. Do not argue with them. Don't confront them at all. And this is 49, which is a 13 or 4. The numbers I call out can be um, dates, times, ages. Put it where it goes for you. We have the 8 of Pentacles, 61, which is a 7. And then you may work with the Sagittarius. It may be a co-worker. We have the Sun card, Leo 26. It could also be a Leo. I'm getting that you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, but I'm seeing it as a fire sign. We have Sagittarius and Leo here. Uh, with the sun and temperance, also 26, which is a eight. And we have six of swords, 70. Yeah, take the high road, let it go. Spirit is showing you with the sun card that you should just let it go and move to calmer waters because the situation is going to heal itself. Overall energy being the star card, Aquarius, 33, master number 33. So take the high road. And that's what I've been getting as a collective. Like, not don't stress yourself over this person. Because with temperance, is with temperance, you're trying to prove that you're like an upstanding person. You work very hard. You would never do this. And people know that about you. Capricorn, people know that you're hardworking. That is your sign. You are the eight of pentacles here. And people see that with the sun card. So stay calm. Focus on your work and continue to work. And let it go. Do not feed into this person. With the orange being the star, you are healed. You're good. People, people know the truth. You don't need to go run around and clear your name. People know the truth. All right, the truth is going to prevail. It, it doesn't need. It doesn't even need to prevail. People already know the truth. They don't believe this person. All right, clarify this for Capricorn. Clarify this message for Capricorn. The last shuffle. Clarify this message for Capricorn. And for some of you, this person did make you sick in some way shape or form you're going to heal with the overall energy being the star card aquarius energy you are going to heal from that if they did try to get you sick clarifying the temperance card is the ace of pentacles a new state will begin in abundance i feel like you may have gotten a job offer or a pay rate i feel like it's a job offer ace of swords someone likes the way you handle the situation very professionally because for some of you i do feel like you work with this person 
Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles is the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're trying to decide which way to go about it or if you should stay at your job or go to a new one. You're thinking about transferring or taking this offer. Ten of Swords, the worst part of the situation is over when it comes to work. I feel like this does involve work heavily. Like this is a coworker or this person is just interfering with your work, your money, your schedule. They may show up to your job every day, every day or um, your commute. It's like they're trying to interfere with your routine, your everyday life, your work. But the higher ups see that you stay calm. If you take the high road in this and handle this professionally, you will be rewarded by your higher ups. They will commend you for how you handled this. I feel like it may be halfway a test and halfway like this person's just erratic. And people are watching, higher ups are watching to see how you handle this. If you decide to stay tempered with temperance and calm, you will get a pay raise or a promotion or a job offer with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the truth. Clarity. So be smart about it. Stay calm. Because I feel like this person is doing this to so that they can get the position that's about to be given to you. Because the higher ups are already looking at you and they want to give the position to you. So this person is trying to like make you act out or embarrass yourself at work so that they give it to them and not you or give it to someone else and not you. Clarifying the sun card is the Emperor Aries. Of all, all the fire signs are here. We have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So you may be a trine or have it in your chart. Your boss sees the truth. Also, your boss is enlightened about your abilities and how important you are to the company. Yep, nine of pentacles. Your boss sees you as the nine of pentacles. They see you as someone very tr trustworthy, very worthy of a promotion, of a higher rank at your job. They love how you handle this situation. They love that you always stay calm. You don't let anyone um, get you out of character or make you act rashly. Even if someone is upsetting you emotionally, you do not let it get to you. You do not let it show. You continue to be professional and get your work done. And your, your boss sees that and they're going to reward you for it. I feel like your company wants to make you a boss. They want to make you the manager or CEO. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Your boss wants to give you the Nine of Pentacles. They want you to be financially independent and stable. Yeah, I feel like you either get your own business or you get like a, a really high up title. You will get financial independence and abundance from this because you decided to take the high road. You handled this professionally. Clarifying the Six of Swords is the King of Pentacles. There you are. Yeah, you end up letting it go. And the magician, Gemini and Virgo. And it's because you let it go, you manifest the Nine of Pentacles. You get that offer of stability and abundance with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, because you stayed calm. In order to clear your name and let everyone know the truth, you have to stay calm and do not respond. When you do not respond to this person or try to clear your name, everything goes well. The main thing you need to do is don't say anything and just work. Orange the Four Swords. Yep, that's the minor to the star card. The four swords is hope and healing, just like the star card. So your reputation is safe. It's good. You're, you're totally fine. And if this person did try to tamper with your health, you are healed or you will heal. Even if it's just stress, mental, emotional, physical, whatever, or a literal disease, you will heal. And your boss, the higher up, see how you handle this, and you are going to be rewarded for that. All right, let me get you your final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. Final message for Capricorn. You may want to check out the fire sign readings because you got Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries here. You also have Gemini and Virgo, but the fire signs are sticking out significantly. Also Aquarius. All right, we have mushrooms. Tree. Toad. Over our energy is skull. So let me read these. Some of them I will connect to the reading. Others I will leave open to interpretation for you. All right, mushrooms. Quiet growth, the hidden peace. Yep. That's what you need to do. Keep the peace. Stay calm. Quiet growth. I feel like you should just stay quiet and continue to work. Do not feed in this and continue to work. Because right after temperance, keeping calm, you have the eight of pentacles working your ass off. The more you stay calm and, and the more you work in silence and not feed into this, the boss will see that with the sun card, it'll be illuminated that you are the chosen one. You can handle yourself. You are a leader. 
All right, because I feel like someone's up for a promotion and it's you. It's like the boss is planning on giving a promotion to someone because they need someone to take their place when they retire. And, the, and it's going to be you. All right, tree, wisdom, good roots, and connection. I realize that this tree card is about the good connections you have at your job or home or community, whatever the reading is based on. I'm feeling like it's work, but put it where it goes for you. You have good roots. So people, the higher ups have um, a good opinion of you. They think very highly of you in this group, in this connection. All right, and you're about to make some connections with some higher up people. Toad, humor, the grotesque, joy. Happy outcome, of course, for you. And the overall energy is skull, transition, reality, grief. And then we have the star and the four swords, so that's gonna heal anyway. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in, um, and booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below, as well as my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing and displaying. Her Etsy is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.